I'm going to talk about the inspirations in my life as an artist. One is growing up in Devon. Two is painting, studying painting at Chelsea School of Art in London. Three is studying pottery in Japan. And the fourth is travel. When I was 10, my family moved from the city to a small village in the Devonshire countryside near Torquay. And my life went from shades of grey to rainbow coloured overnight. It was May time and the hedgerows were full of flowers and birdsong and I became completely absorbed into nature, which has lasted all my life. I had a pet jackdaw who stayed for three years. I had a lot of contact with birds and animals. I had 120 mice, 15 guinea pigs, mice, grasshoppers, uh, more mice, <laughs> grasshoppers, snakes, lizards and people used to bring injured birds to our house and in one year alone I had 30 injured birds or orphaned birds to look after, most of which recovered and flew away again. So I had really close contact with the natural world when I was growing up. When I was uh, 17 my family moved back to near London and I went to Chelsea School of Art where I studied painting. I've always drawn but uh, it was a wonderful time in London with really famous part-time tutors who were well-known painters coming round. You could have great contact with them and London was absolutely swinging at the time. Uh, there was no clay though and it was much later that I had a chance to visit Japan where I discovered food as an art form in even the cheapest restaurant would have food carefully arranged or seasonal food, pottery to match, many small dishes and the food would completely complement the ceramics to become one art form. So. I ended up studying pottery for four years in Japan, first with Potter Yosei Itaka in Tokyo, and later with the well-known Ryoji Koye, who had a studio in the mountains near Nagoya. And Japan, being volcanic, has a variety of clays. There are over 100 pottery villages, and each has developed its own type of pottery based on the type of natural clay available. Some of these villages have been in operation for a thousand years, since the 5th century. There are six kilns which have been designated the six ancient kilns of Japan. And that's actually kiln towns where pottery has been made in many instances for hundreds and thousands, even over a thousand years, and probably prehistorically as well. <clears throat> so the forces of nature are so powerful in Japan, uh, Japan and you're aware of it through volcanoes, earthquakes and typhoons. It's as if the ground is alive. There's a saying in Japanese pottery, nendo ikasu, which means to give life to clay. And that really is how Japanese potters work. And you can feel the animism in the attitude to nature, forces of nature in Japanese pottery, which is based around clay and fire. Subsequently, I've had 46 exhibitions of my pottery in Japan, very much helped by my husband, Setsuo Kato, who is a Japanese photojournalist, and by my Japanese family in Japan. My last inspiration is travel. And I've travelled widely. I've been lucky to visit such places as the Pantanal in Brazil and Costa Rica where I've seen unimaginably wonderful wildlife and even the leaves in the Amazon were as big as I was. <laughs> and also through travel I've been to, I've been on a trip up the river Nile. I've always loved ancient Egyptian art, but to be able to see the temples that they've left behind and some of the tomb paintings was a wonderful inspiration to me. And the ancient Egyptians really had such good sense and colour. Wonderful. 
Another country which has inspired me culturally is Spain, especially because it's not so difficult to get to, or it wasn't before the pandemic anyway. And I do like Andalusia, the plants that grow there, the similarity to Africa. And some of the painters, such as Picasso and Miro, are my inspirations. Also medieval Hispano-Moresque pottery, those giant chargers, luster-painted luster great plates used for feasts. And when it's raining, I play flamenco in my studio to give me a good mood and remind me that sunshine is out there somewhere.